So welcome uh, to Novo Mesto and the start of the pursuit here. Away goes uh, Fionn Maillet. Can the French get a second successive win? That was quite some gust of wind from the left. It's, uh, it's backed off a little. The middle of the range uh, is a little more affected. You can see the flags now at lane 8, 9, 10. The wind was playing games. It, it came on strong for Fionn Maillet, then it backed off, and then it picked up again midpoint of range, and then it dropped off. So quite a gusty day, which is always difficult in biathlon. Yeah, Ligrid, four out of four, could be a new leader. It will be a new leader. And Phil Maillet might be back up into the top two, but he's thrown one wide. Hoffa gets five. Jacqueline makes sure again. That's going to be a real test of the nerve of Ligrid, isn't it? Who leads here. Now, if Ligrid wins today, as I mentioned, uh, Johannes Tingis has to finish in the top three to stay in the yellow bib. The wind is being very kind to them all the lanes at the moment. They need to shoot fast. Wow, wow. Ligrid gets away with a rare miss because Jacqueline has thrown one wide and there is a chance we could have a new leader. Johannes Tingis could be uh, edging closer to the World Cup title. Needs five, that's three. Gigana on four out of four. So is uh, Johannes Tingis Bow. Five go down and the leading group has completely changed. But the uh, chasers are only going to be a couple of meters behind. What a fabulous race. I don't think we have ever seen six in the running uh, or six this tightly packed coming into the last shoot here we go feel my a in lane one has missed two shots already johannes tingis five out of five in the last stand next to him is ligrid the best shot uh, or the best biathlete really on the tour in terms of the shooting skiing combination and Ligrid with two down very early on but he throws his third shot wide Phil Maillet four out of four five out of five he is away and Johannes Ting is put off by that Keegan Art has gone and Jacqueline took his time and will be on the chase he's chasing his own teammate and I don't think Phil Maillet wants to see him behind him and Johannes Ting is oh my Look goodness this. this is unbelievable 20, 19 <laughs> seconds he was behind and he's closed it to just six on Jacqueline Revenge is sweet. Well, Jacqueline thought he was totally safe in second with a 20-second lead ahead of Johannes Tingis. But Johannes has to break him quickly because if he stays, Jacqueline could still out-sprint him to the line. But Fion Maillet is safe. That's the only thing we can be absolutely sure of. He's making it two out of two here in the penultimate week of the season. That will uh, improve his position. He puts pressure. Actually, he's going to go ahead of uh, Talia Bo in the World Cup standings. He's up to three, and he deserves it. His seventh podium of the year, and he shakes number one. That's what he is today. Will he be number one next week? We'll have to wait and find out. Johannes Tingis, wonderful effort. Started, started down in ninth position 37 seconds behind uh, just one one miss too many for Johannes he, he missed two and Ligrid missing two you have to remember Fion Maia missed two as well